What's up, everybody? I'm Becca Sapphire, and welcome back to Romance Detective, a game I haven't played in four months. It, I didn't mean for it to go on that long. Sadly. So... Ah, oh, shit. Where were we? I think... There. Okay, I instantly don't know what's going on here. Oh, good. You're here. Yeah. Is something wrong? Nothing. It just... That's quite the net you have there. This is the catch... The one we need to talk to. You still haven't told me who that might be. Cupid. Oh, I see. And what kind of person is this Cupid? Women's Cup, have you not heard of the God of Despair? Then your friend works at some sort of brothel? Of course not. I'll have to teach you about woman mythology in depth later. But for now, I'll get straight to the point. We're going to find Cupid and get him to tell us what's behind the odd phenomenon of go- Of course, we haven't ruled out the possibility that he caused it himself. Wait, like a little angel baby bow and arrow Cupid? Are you serious? I'm always serious. Right. You- So you've met Cupid before. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I haven't. Then how do you know we'll be able to find him? Because I am romance detective. I've never left a case unsolved. Alright, you in. Let's go find Cupid. It's good to trust in your allies on a search to begins in the park. 6.30 p.m. Love Bloom Park. Here we are, not a single angel baby in sight. We need to do an extensive search of the park grounds. Why are you convinced he's here? I can feel it. In other words, you have no real reason for this wild goose chase. Cupid is no goose. Alright, well, read the way, detective. Even if I can't really understand any of this, I'm sure you know what you're doing. Right, this way, Romance Cop. Hmm, not here. We'll try this way next. This is completely ridiculous. How long are we going to wander around this park? I trust the detective and all, but I don't see the point in this. My head's starting to feel kind of foggy, too. Ugh. Are you coming? So it got a little caught up in my own thoughts. About the strange phenomenon. Let me hear it. No, it's nothing important. Hey, Detective, this park is really nice, don't you think? Hmm. Yes, it seems to have planted more rose, rose bushes since my last visit. A fine addition to the public space. They're really pretty, too. We should come back again in the daytime. What's gotten into you, Walmart's cop? We need to focus on our search. Alright, sorry. She's right, what am I doing? I can't lose sight of our goals right now. We need to find Cupid, or else the case isn't truly solved. There he is. Ah, he's cute. The one, one that been, the one by the bench over there? We... Well, sure, he has wings, but that has to be a costume. No, he's the real deal. I'm sure of it. Cover me. Ah, oh, shit, is she gonna shoot him? Cover me? What do you mean? Take this. Ugh, what are you doing? Let me go. Not until you answer our question, scoundrel. You're the scoundrel. Who the hell goes around catching people in oversized nets? I believe you laced your arrows with a certain potential toxin. Am I correct, Cupid? What in the world are you talking about? Get the net off me! Detective, you can't do far this time. Let the poor guy go. Sorry, Romance Cop, but I won't allow him to escape. Okay, look. 
I promise not to run off or anything, just get me out of this. Yeah, he's just some random kid in the park. Leave him alone. I'm so sorry about my partner's actions, so she's she's a famous romance detective. I know. I just didn't expect her to be such straightforward methods of catching me. You know of me? S so you're real? Yep, I'm Cupid. But you're nothing like I imagined. Everyone grows up, okay? Sure as a baby once, but no one stays like that forever. Go with the times already. I can't... I can't believe it. Cupid, I'm sure you're aware of whatever force is driving these people of the city to commit crimes in the nature of love. Are you the one behind this? Nope, not me. I came here to look into it myself. So you want the cause? Of course not. Why would I be? I mean, my aim might not always be perfect, but it's not like I'm ever trying to be the bad guy. Then what do you know about the case? From what I understand, something influencing people to be more impulsive when it comes to love. I just can't figure it out the source of the problem. Hmm, that would definitely explain the romance thief. Eve incident. Then the voice in her head was... As I thought, there's another force at work. Well, let me know if you're able to find anything. I got a feeling about this place, so I'll be sticking around all night. Thanks, and sorry about before. Nah, could've been worse. At least you didn't use any oversized jaw. Next time I might consider it. The net has proven itself rather flimsy. Heh, <laughs> but seriously, don't. See you around, Alan. Good luck, you two. Huh? Did he just wink at me? What was that about? Romance cop. Hmm? We need to figure out what's the source of the problem. What could be? What influences the people of the city? We'll regroup at my private residence. Y your home. Okay, let's go then. 7.30pm. Romance detective's house. Here we are. Smells like roses, but that shouldn't surprise me. So, um... Why'd you bring me here? The cafe is closed. I thought this place would make a suitable or su substitution while we discuss the investigation. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Pull it together, Wormuts Cop. You've been out of it these past few hours. Have I really? Maybe it's been a long day. I must be tired. I need you to focus on getting in close to solving the case. I can feel it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll do my best. Why does my head feel so hazy? It's been like this since we started searching the park. Being alone with the detective almost seems to make it worse. Somebody's in love. Or has some kind of pollen allergy. What? Yeah, I heard that. Woman's cop. What's wrong? Did you hear? The voice. Hmm? Oh, shit. Detective, I... Women's Cop, listen to me. You're being influenced by my feelings, I know. It's hard for me trying to keep them out all this time. I'm trying to be so professional. Women's Cop, you want yourself right now. No, this is the real me. My true feelings. Well, she was drugged. It just took a while for me to realize it. I'm sorry. But I really... Huh? Have you snapped out of it? Ah, the fog in my head cleared up all of a sudden. What was I- Don't worry about that. I'm glad you're back to normal. Almost had a bitch slap ya. Was I about to kiss the detective, wasn't I? Oh. I stepped on my woes. I'm really sorry, I don't know what's going on. Could you give me a new one? No, it's the roses. Huh? Um, yeah, since I stepped on this one, it's useless now, so... It's the woes. They've been causing this all along. Ugh. Think about it. The roses all over town, hidden in plain sight. But you have a rose in your mouth. Wouldn't that affect you? 
I'm just saying. The roses have betrayed me. I think I was being used all along. Away with you, foul demon flower. Okay. Detective, I think you're getting a little ahead of yourself. I mean, this only started happening recently. You told me you've always had your rose. I don't think we can assume all roses this have always been bad. Maybe these are just the special kind. Now, maybe it's something that latched on the roses. And the flowers themselves are innocent. But the rose that I gave you, it caused you to... Now, don't blame yourself for that. You couldn't have known any of this was happening. It's okay. What? But does this mean that what I was feeling was only because of it? We have to get rid of these roses before they cause any more harm. Right, but how are we... We'll bond them. Wait a minute. But... Roses are kind of poisonous. So wouldn't burning them create fumes? All of them? What else can we do? We'll walk for the time being. Let's get all the roses we can carry. Okay. We're probably gonna kill somebody. That should be all of them from around the house. This somehow feels a little sad to watch. What's that weird smoke? What must cop get back? <coughs> <coughs> we must evacuate. Uh, fresh air. How are you feeling? I'm okay. It Looks like we have to find another way to get rid of these roses, though. Ah, what's wrong? The smoke. Look at the sky, detective. See, this is why uh, you don't burn roses. It's spreading over the city. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know why I was Scottish there for a second. This proves the rose is really all the cause. We don't know what's affecting the smoke, might be. Well, you should be careful. Advance from this point on. Evening, ladies. Chief, what are you doing here? I was on my way to visit the detective, but now I... Chief. Romance Cop, you look wonderful tonight. Where is this coming from all of a sudden? I mean, I appreciate the compliment, but... Sorry, I'll be... Be more direct. What I really want is to be with you. Chief. Smoke. Could it be? You think this is because of the roses too? What are you talking about? What? What's this about roses? The feelings you are harbor but for my partner. They are not your own. You are being influenced by the smoke from the other roses. Stop with your nonsense, detective. We're not trying to keep me away from you. But what she says is true. You're not... Listen, Wormass Cop. No, serious. I need you. I won't allow it. D detective. We're retreating. Come with me. Okay. It's getting weirder and weirder. And I'm gonna save here. And I'm gonna leave this episode here. See you guys in the next one.